Now, we're up on the hill on that flamed corn. And this is primarily foxtail up here. There's a few weeds like that guy right there. But we're going ahead and doing our our fast secondary pass of cultivating on it today. And this is what we're doing here. We're throwing dirt to cover up that foxtail. See the difference? Yeah. That's beautiful. So, the boy's running the cultivator. And I'm out here kind of moving some rocks out of the way. There's some pretty good sized rocks yet that... So I don't know where they just keep coming from. Man. It's like we're growing rocks out here. And we've got another little helper today. Little Viv. She's out picking up rocks for me too. Almost. Let's go this way, bug. I know there's some big ones. So we're going to see if we can't get some of this grass covered up. There's our... Lantern Gap Pro. And it's looking pretty good. This corn is almost all up to my waist. Some of it's a little shorter. Here's some that got laid over and crispy a little bit. You can see it's, yeah, those got snapped off. So they're not coming back. Same with those. Those got run over and smashed. But, yeah, we did kind of a 50% job with the flamer. We should have been out here flamed earlier when the corn was about V3, V4. Would have been a better result. This end, These endras up here are just, just shitty. I don't know why this isn't growing compared to the rest of the field. Might be, uh, well, this right up in this area is where a building got buried many years ago, long time ago, probably 20 years ago. So that's where all the block and this garbage is coming from. Anyway, that's what it looks like, guys. Effects of flaming, you can't even tell that I flamed it now. Well, we're just a few days and maybe a week into July here, and the corn is pretty dang tall, looking fantastic. Now down in the row, this is, let's see, we are on the outside end row, so this is the stuff that didn't have the flame directed diagonally down on the row. So again, we do have some of these taller weeds, you can see there's a big uh, cockleburr right there mostly cockleburrs in this area this was where the cockleburrs were pretty heavy right through this this end row and there's some new beginning guys down way down under here see we got that is a morning glory along with that one we got a bunch of foxtail and some button weeds that I believe is a pigweed so we're just now getting some pretty significant weeds again. And we're almost tall enough that we can't cultivate. So we're going to have to get this cultivated right away. Probably tomorrow if we can get it set up. The cultivator we used last, right after flaming, is the one we're going to use. It doesn't have any shields. It's set up tall. It's a high clearance guy. It's got big shovels on it. It throws a lot of dirt. And... Because the corn is now super tall, we're not going to have any burying it problems. We're going to go really fast so that we can throw a lot of dirt and really cover some stuff up. So some of these rows are pretty dang clean, like this guy right here. There's not really any weeds to speak of right around the plant. I mean, there's some little guys like this one, but that'll get covered up when we start cultivating. This other row will be on the other side of me. It's got a bunch of foxtail in it. You know this stuff? Yeah. Nothing we can do about that now. Just have to suffer, I suppose. So anyway, now that this is... Oh, shoot, what's it been? Uh, probably two weeks or almost three weeks since we flamed. And you can still see some of the leaves down here. 
you know that we're burnt with the rest of the corn plant as you can see it's it's doing phenomenal not going to be a yield drag because we flamed it so a nice little update here on our 2020 corn it's looking immaculate looking really good we're what do we got? 50% uh, chance of rain coming up in a few days. So, if we can get this cultivated again, get a lot of good dirt thrown into the row, get some of that fox, that new foxtail covered up, ripped out, that'd be amazing. So, stay tuned, guys. More interesting organics coming up.